The USDA this week began sending out what will amount to nearly $8 billion in 2015 commodity support payments to American farmers. Producers, many facing lower commodity prices with the current year's crop, will find the safety net money in their mailboxes over the coming months. Price loss coverage, or PLC, and agricultural risk coverage, or ARC, both county and individual, replaced the previous direct payment program after passage of the 2014 Farm Bill. The change brought an end to what opponents to the legislation called guaranteed payments under the previous law. Producers who signed up for ARC or PLC last year made five-year commitments, and those decisions required a bit of guessing on grain prices in future years. Many farmers, including one Iowa row crop producer, chose ARC because PLC is considered more beneficial only when prices drop dramatically. With PLC, the price has to be under 370 for corn and 840 for soybeans. So I guess we're banking on prices being higher than that. So were other farmers. 76% of the enrolled base acres are in the ARC County program. And falling prices in 2016 may make for another year of safety net payments to the 1.7 billion enrolled farms. In 2014, Ark County paid the owners of 900,000 farms a total of $4.4 billion for all crops. Data for the same program in 2015 shows initial safety net payments of $5.6 billion paid to the owners of 1.2 million farms. USDA officials said the PLC program paid about $800,000 to 90,000 operations in 2014. But so far, that has grown to $1.2 billion among 350,000 operations in the 2015 crop year. Officials said that ARC individual data is not yet available, as those payments, as well as payments for 11 of the 21 covered commodities, have yet to be processed. For Market to Market, I'm Colleen Bradford-Krantz.